Hello, Nova Halloween here. So because many of my Halloween effects use projectors, I seem to get a lot of questions about which brands to buy, resolution, lumens, etc. Today I'm going to do a real-world test of two Epson projectors, one with 1080p resolution and the other with 720p. I'll be looking at different types of scenes and in different lighting conditions. Now this isn't a full review. The purpose is really just to demonstrate in real-world conditions how 720p compares to 1080p. Although 4K projectors are starting to appear, for now 1080p is still the standard. But you can get a really decent 720 projector for a few hundred dollars less than a 1080 projector. Should you go with a cheaper option? Hopefully this video will help you decide. The first projector is an Epson Powerlight 2030. It's 2080p and 1800 lumens. It's my main projector for movie nights, both inside and out, and of course I also use it for the Halloween effects. This model has been replaced with the Powerlight 2040 and retails for about $650 on Amazon. I guess you could say that it's an entry-level 1080p projector. And this is an Epson Powerlight 730 HD. I bought this used on eBay. Retails for $470 on Amazon. It's 720p and it has 3000 lumens, so lower resolution but quite a bit brighter. As a side note, if you're watching movies or playing games in, in a bright room, definitely want to choose a projector with at least 3000 lumens. And today we're mostly just comparing resolutions. Both will be connected to a Blu-ray player with HDMI and will be projecting onto a wall about 10 feet wide. This isn't my regular movie screen, it's just a wall in my basement. But for what we're doing, this is good enough. Okay, here we go. 1080p on the left, 720p on the right. This is a dark room, and uh, we are looking at the menu screen of my Blu-ray player. It may not be immediately obvious, but here in person, there's no question that the image on the left is much sharper. Zoom right in here on the text. The extra pixels in the 1080 text are very obvious and, and give a much smoother and sharper image. True, I had to get really close to demonstrate this, but again, in person, from a normal viewing distance, the 1080 image is just cleaner and more lifelike. Here we're looking at the menu screen for Star Trek. Now, the 720 image is not terrible by any means, but I think you should be able to see that the image on the left is just sharper and more vivid. But let's get closer again. 1080 on the left, you need to get very close to see the individual pixels, but they are very obvious on the image on the right. Okay, now we're looking at a Samsung demo movie with the lights on above in the room. Now this is kind of interesting here. Based on what you see in this video on your screen, the 720 image may actually look better. However, I think this is just due the, to the, uh, the exposure on my camera. If you look above and below the screen, you can see that the wall is, is almost overexposed on the left and quite a bit darker on the right. And I think what this has done is created a 720 image with maybe deeper and more vivid colors. And finally, a comparison in a dark room. Because you're probably viewing this on a tiny phone screen or maybe on a computer, the images may not look very different. You need to remember here though, the image that you're looking at is actually about 120 inches wide, which is why you buy a projector for that huge image. And at this size, the higher resolution just gives you a significantly sharper and clearer image.
what do we conclude from this test? First, it's hard to show the real impact of different resolutions on a YouTube video of a 10 foot wide screen. We really need to get in close to see those pixels, but the 1080p projector is clearly superior in person. There's just no debate here at all. However, I need to say that unless you do a side-by-side -side comparison like this, the 720 image still looks great. It's one of those, if you don't know what you're missing, you're perfectly happy situations. If you've never had a 1080 or a 4K screen projection, you could definitely buy a cheaper 720p projector, blow it up on a wall, and absolutely love it. For casual TV watching or movie nights, a 720 projector for $400 is going to be just fine. But if you're serious about your movie nights or gaming, it just doesn't make sense to go any lower than 1080p for a few hundred dollars more. In every test, in every condition, the 1080p image was the clear winner. And after you see the difference, it's hard to be impressed with the lower res image. Will I feel the same way maybe about 1080 when 4K becomes the standard? Who knows, but for now I'm more than happy with 1080p. So if you have a 720p projector, are you happy with it? Let me know in the comments below. And a bit of a preview for my next video. You know those super cheap $50 projectors from China that you see on eBay? Just how good are they? Well, I actually bought one. Yes, I did. And if you're thinking about buying one, all I can say is that you really need to see my test before placing that order. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews and demos.